starting with the great name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Myself at the Shama Mead and welcome to my YouTube channel, Complete Genetic Zone, for another exciting lecture. In today's lecture, I will be discussing about functional, non-functional domain requirements and design and implementation constraints of hostel management system. So these kind of questions are usually asked in a software requirements specification document or known as SRS documents while designing or implementation of any system. So first of all I will discuss I will discuss about functional requirement of hostel management system. Functional requirements are those requirements that must be fulfilled by the system without completion of these requirements system will be incomplete so the functional requirements of hostel management system are as follow first of all warden shall be able to enter the details of the students warden shall be able to add students and allot them room number warden shall be able to search record of any student through student name and student id and system must show data within five seconds warden shall be able to edit and delete the record of hostel students warden shall be able to edit and delete the record of hostel students warden shall be able to see mass bill and can edit the details if required system shall be able to generate due fee in given given period of time and there should be the login menu for each warden so these are the functional requirements of hostel management system that means that these requirement must be there these specification must be there while implementation of hostel management system without if any of these requirement will not be fulfilled then system will be incomplete so next one we have is non-functional requirements non-functional requirements are basically the requirements that include security reliability availability and maintainability so non-functional requirements first we have is security that means that a system must be secure from inside or outside attackers or you can say the hackers or intruders you can use any word for for, for, for that and uh, that means that there must be no bug or near, no ambiguity in the code or there must be no loophole in the system so the user from inside or outside can get in and get the details second one we have is reliability that means the system must be reliable availability system services must be available 24 by 7 maintainability the backup of a system must be available so this is very important that there must be a backup of, of the system so that means that there must be some primary storage and there must be some secondary storage in case of any failure in case of any issue or a problem then there must be the back of backup of a system that data must not must not lose so these are all the non-functional requirements of the hostel management system like the system must be secure system must be reliable system must be available 24 by 7 and there must be the backup of the system next one we have is domain requirements 
Now, who shall be the candidates or who to whom the system will allocate the hostel rooms? So there must be some criteria that a university or a warden of any hostel can set. So here in our case, we have set that that the first semester students will be preferred. So they must be so they will be given uh, they will be preferred to, to be given uh, to, to be given hostel life, hostel rooms and student from second to eighth semester must have CGPA three and above so any student from second to eighth semester if have if CGPA three or above so they are eligible for getting the, getting the hostel room so what so what system will show that system will ask when second to eighth semester students will apply for the hostel room so they will enter their uh, you can say uh, for for the, those students or a warden can it will enter their CGPA if the CGPA is less than three then system will display the message that you are an ineligible for this facility so and for students second to eighth semester they must have CGPA three and above in order to get room in the hostel So next one we have is design and implementation constraints. So the design and implementation constraints of the hostel management system are as under. Now the processor should be 2.7, at least 2.7. So for the smooth running of the installed software, the RAM that is random access memory RAM of the system must be at least 2 GB and system should be applicable on Windows and Linux so that means if any of operating system that we have is either Windows or Linux then, syst then the software hostel management system must support window and Linux so they must run on Windows or Linux operating system and the next one is an implementation constraint that is the system must be implemented in Java programming language and the database required is Oracle so the, so the database of the hostel management system must be developed in Oracle software and the, the, the programming language that, that we use to implement the system must be developed in Java programming language. Any language other than Java language will not be acceptable. So, other, there, there could be any of uh, any other implementation constraints like a system must be developed uh, within six months. So, you can also add that and um, so these are the just a demo this is just a demonstration of uh, that how the design and implementation constraints can be adopted or can be mentioned or can be uh, utilized uh, in software requirement specification documents so in this video uh, what we have studied so far we have studied the non functional requirements of a system uh, we have studied about the functional requirement of the hostel management system and we have studied also the domain requirements of the uh, systems of the hostel management system and then we have is a uh, design and implementation constraints in host of while developing the host hostel management system so that's all for today if you like this video you can share it if you have any question
you can ask in the comment section i will definitely respond there and if you have if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can subscribe it and click on the bell icon so that you can get more videos in future thank you and have a good day